Welcome back, guys, to some more Dragon Quest XI. Yay! I can't. I've been so looking forward to playing this again. You have no idea. Right, so, with the newfound knowledge that he's the Luminary Reborn, Mage headed uh, northward from his home, and he went to uh, to Heliodor, and we got freaking branded a Darkspawn or something, and thrown into the dungeons. Luckily for us, there was a chap here called Eric who uh, helped us escape. We had to run away from a massive dragon, and uh, now we find ourselves uh, at a church. Yeah, we somehow survived jumping off like the biggest cliff imaginable, and uh, now, now we are fully recovered, it seems. And Eric wants to go back to Heliodor to get something of importance before we uh, before we return to Cobblestone and hopefully see that it is okay. Although I highly doubt that. I think some bad's happening there right now. Um, little update, in between videos, I couldn't stop myself. I did do a little bit of level grinding. Uh, not too much. I mean, we're both level, well, level 9 and level 8. Uh, we do have a few skill points to use. Uh, 10 each, in fact, which is nice. Nice round number. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to spend these, though. Like... I don't actually know. I'm terrible at making these decisions straight away. Um, I mean, for our hero, Mage, we basically have... Well, not many options. Attack power when wielding plus three. When swords are equipped. Um, critical hit chance. Both of those are quite expensive. They would use up all of our points. Um... There isn't much else we can get right now. So I'm going to go for the attack increase. It's only four points. There we go. Uh, Dragon Slash. Ooh. Needs ten points, but that sounds pretty awesome. Um, tempted to get this Greatsword Guard, but again, until I find a better Greatsword, I'm probably not going to use them, so... Maybe I'll just save my points for now. Uh, let's see, what does Eric have? So he can go four different ways right now. Um, we are using knives primarily at the moment, although we do have access to uh, a boomerang. We have one in our inventory, which uh, I don't know if I'm going to use yet. So let's check out the knives. So attack power plus five for only three points. That's pretty good. Ooze Bruiser. It's all enemies and can cause heavy damage to slimes. Or we could learn some... Ooh, we could learn how to steal for eight points. That could be really cool. Oh, it's a pet power. Which we learned a little bit about last time, and we still need to do a quest to actually use one in battle. But stealing could be really useful. You can learn Flame Slash as well, because you can use swords. Ooh, I'm tempted, though, to go with the uh, attack power with knives just now. Oh, do I get the steel? No, we're going to get steel. We're going to get steel. There we go. Half inch. Um, we uh, itemized kill. We can both use now. Ah. So I wonder if that attacks and steals at the same time, maybe. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much all we can do, point-wise. Um, I haven't really explored this area that much, so there's our quest giver. I still can't get over how freaking massive this world seems. The scale of it all is... Oh, I, I just love it. Okay, now we did... We checked out the well... Uh, I think there were some barrels behind here, though, that I didn't get. A single file, so that's a bit more MP for us. Yeah, we checked out the well. Um, so let's get into a few fights. Just to show off uh, Eric in battle, because I've seen it now, but uh, well, you guys haven't, so here we go. Right, so, um, we can use... Oh, we did learn Sizz, which is a group fire spell. 
um, which is probably quite useful against these guys, but um, I'm just going to attack normally for now. Because we can do more than enough damage to kill him in one hit. Um, steals item from enemies. Oh, can we can we just use this without... Oh, I see what it meant. Learning this ability learned a pet power as well, which was the joint thing. Oh. And this doesn't use any MP. Oh, nice. Oh, but I'm guessing the steal rates are going to be pretty low. Ouch. Okay, well, we'll try again. Hmm. Hmm, are we going to have a, another Zidane situation going on here? 18 XP, bit of gold. We, should, we have a lot of gold, by the way. Look at that, 1300. Ho ho! Um, now, Eric did come with quite a few weapons. He's got a soldier's sword, and a birchwood boomerang. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to give that soldier's sword to uh, our hero, since he's actually using swords. And it is, it is better than the one we've got, so... Let's uh, swap that out. There we go. So, I mean, the soldier sword is kind of... That was the first sword we had in... In 8, wasn't it? I think. But, um... That's about all we can give... Our main man here. That's okay. Right, so what we want to do, before we get too far away from this quest giver, is to build up our pep. And show off, or use one of the abilities called Real Decoy, and then we can get the reward. We have new enemies here. Freaking adorable little bastards. Bodkin archers. Here we go. Let's show off the Sizz spell. Yeah, pre pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh, plain clothes. Okay. <laughs> and off he runs. He runs away naked. Another one bites the dust. You got it. You got it. You said it, Eric. That's it. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm going the completely wrong way right now. But you never know what you might find. This is heading back to the Mangle Grove, which I'm still guessing we can't go to. But there is an, an area to the left. Uh, a quite a big area before we ho um, go to downtown Helidor, So. We'll go down this way. I did. Uh, I did get a trophy off screen as well for preempting enemies thirty times. So Mage was a very happy chappy. What's yours is mine. Oh, nice! So you can get MP regen stuff from those things. That is good to know. Oh shit, you know what, I completely forgot. Just because there's, it's a multi-targeting spell, it only attacks groups of enemies, so... That's why that didn't attack everything. My bad. Ha! Huh. Easy! Easy! Let's see, what's over here? Bit of a drop. Oh, we've got some mushroom things. There must be something good down there. And another one of those ghost penguins that we don't know what they are yet. Ah, okay. Well, this mushroom, I have a feeling, may poison us. So, good job we've got some antidotal crap on us. Oh, it's a little saber cat! It's a saber cub! Oh, Dude, that's adorable! Well, we'll get rid of the fungool first. Actually, no, let's steal from the cat. Oh. Oh, he's so he's adorable! Well, that was easy. 
really want to hurt him until we can steal from him. Oh. He's, he's tough. He is tough. Yoink. God damn it, Eric. Ah, medicinal herb. Okay. Oh, we killed it. Oh well, there'll be more. 25 XP though. Ooh, a hardy hide. I think we've got a hairy hide? Uh, God, we've got a lot of items. Oh no, uh, it was, I thought, I, did I read that last time as hairy hide? I must have done. Two hardy hides, and yeah, we found the lamplight from the, one of the lanterns. Not sure what that does, but um, it might be rare, so I'm keeping it. But yeah, since I did do a quite a bit of level grinding, but not massive amounts, I can probably avoid a few uh, fights against the same stuff over and over now. But that's hard to do, because I do enjoy the fights. Yeah, I want to see what's down here. Because it looks like it's a complete dead end. There is nothing telling you to go this way. What is that? It's a stump enemy. Oh my god. Stump jumps. <laughs> yes. Stump jumps. Well, they, they would be weak to fire, wouldn't they? You'd think. I'm not sure if there's elemental stuff in this game. Wow. Okay, that did actually do an, an insane amount. See if we can steal from him. What's yours is mine. Come on, you gotta pinch something. Oh, he can heal himself, you sly bastard. Come on, Eric. What's yours is mine. Haha! -ha. Right, cool. Saves us buying him. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, I still can't quite make out what his accent's supposed to be. Alright, apart from the ghost penguin, is there anything here? Because he just disappeared. Oh, hello. A red eye. What the hell is that? What is a red eye? Well, it's worth a hell of a lot. To buy those, you have to spend a thousand gold? Holy crap. Well, uh, I'm glad we've got one then. I have no idea what we're going to do with it. Um, and reading some of the comments in the videos that I've uploaded now, because um, I'm recording these ahead of time, obviously. Uh, apparently I have missed things, and that's going to happen, guys. That is going to happen. I'm going to be as thorough as I can, but at the end of the day, I'm only human. I will miss things. But I will try my best. Ah, uh, shinies. Antidotal herb. Very nice. All right, so let's, uh, let's explore the periphery here. As you never know. Like we're getting near the waterfall that we uh, we freaking jumped off. Oh, there's a rope we can climb. I'll be damned. Why don't we just check down the water first? Pick it up. A cotton top. Okay, got a few of those. It's not very exciting. So, where does this lead? Oh, okay. 
more uh, cotton tops, is it? Yep. Oh, antidotal herb. Oh, that was actually... Yeah, that was worth it. Uh, anything up here, though? Is this supposed to be where the exit to... No. No, it just... It's a dead end. Maybe something will appear here. I really don't know. But we got some herbs, so that's okay. I mean, holy crap, I hope that branch holds. <laughs> that does not look safe. Alright. So yeah, we will uh, we'll head into Helidor very soon here. I'm just going to check out this area. In fact, I see a shiny up there. I love these enemies, man. That's awesome. They do hit a little bit hard. Twenty-seven. Four. Who else wants some? <laughs> God, we're drowning in herbs. We've got so many. Anyway, let's get this shiny. Another cotton top. I think uh, those shiny spots might respawn, because if you look on the map... Um, oh, hang on, is there not a way of... Map menu, there we go. See, it looks sparkly spots. So, looks like if you need more of this stuff, you can come back periodically and uh, get more, I guess. Looks like we've. Uh... Oh no, we haven't missed any. We've just not been to those places yet, I see. Okay, well, let's go check the other ones out, see what, uh, see what spawns. Oh, wow. It's a whole family of saber cats. I'm guessing mummy saber cat is going to be pretty dangerous. Ugh, I don't know if I want to go over there now. Might be a bit too much for us. Ah, shucks. Well, we'll come back later. We'll just head straight to where we're supposed to go now. Because uh, the day is dawning. Look, the shadows going across the land. That morning mist is upon us. I love it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's so nice. God, I remember when day-night cycles weren't even a thing. The first one I remember actually seeing in-game was... It's probably Pokemon Gold and Silver. Um, bearing in mind, I hadn't played the Ocarina of Time or, you know, Majora's Mask or anything like that before then. So Pokemon was my first experience of it, and then probably Jack and Daxter. Uh, right, let's ignore those guys. So, sparkly spots. Alright, so at least, yeah, nearby quests. Yeah, we really need to get that quest done, actually. I want to know what that re reward is. It's a shilling or something? So we need to get a few more fights, get pepped up. Shouldn't take too long. Another one, bye. Yep, another one bites. Yep. So all, all the enemies are just running away from us now. We are quite overpowered for this area. Oh, it's so fucking pretty! Bum, 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 bum. Still not pepped up. God damn it, how much money have we got now? 
1400. Okay, guys, I'm gonna just fight a little bit until we get all pepped up, and then then you'll join me when I use that uh, ability. So, see you in a moment. Ha! Huh. Nice! Ah, Eric has just reached level 9. Very cool. Um, still not pepped up, though, but hey, that's okay. Three more skill points. Some nice stat increases. Um, no, we won't use them right away. We'll save those. Okay, here we go. Finally. That actually took a lot longer than I expected, but we are both now in pep-up state. We are pets, and we have two uh, abilities here. The real decoy is the one we're supposed to use, and uh, I twice kill scorches a single enemy with a burning blade before relieving them of their valuables. Uh, but this distracts an enemy with a sword slash before stabbing them in the back while their guard is down. Ooh. Let's do it. Well, isn't that fancy? Holy crap. And that completely uses up your pep status, I guess. Easy. Otherwise... That's kind of, like, ridiculous. Yep, let's go back to the soldier. Which luckily isn't too far away. I'm liking those pet powers. That's really cool. Kind of, It kind of reminds me of, like, Chrono Trigger, like, the uh, joint techs and things. Don't say a word, you don't need to. Uh, a man with my vast fighting experience can recognize a first-time pet power user a mile off. The glint in your eyes, the spring in your step, the glow of satisfaction. Oh yes, you nailed it, all right. Should be proud of yourself. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad considering I only met the guy, like, today. Well, I don't know how long I was knocked out, actually. Maybe, like... I've known him basically a day. Uh, consider this a small souvenir to commemorate this magical moment. We've got a gold chain. Oh shit, no, I'm, I was thinking of the different rewards. I was thinking of the quest back in Heliodor. My bad. Um, cool. Don't think they're all just two-person affairs. Oh no, there are some that need three of you to be pepped up. Oh my god. Oh yes, can't wait. Yeah, can't always go it alone. Success! This quest has been transgressed with finesse. Gold chain. Alright, can't wait to try the other pet power. Right, so, can we equip that on anyone? Is it going to be any good? Oh yeah. Maximum HP, defense, and charm go up. Sweet. Alrighty then, let's, uh, in fact, I'm going to just heal myself slightly. Oh yeah, we learned the evac skill as well, which can take us to the, the start of a dungeon if we uh, if we get in over our heads. So, yeah, my bad. I completely forgot I learned that. Right, now we can actually progress. And we can probably just ignore most of the monsters on the way. I still can't believe we're going to climb that. I mean, everything's going to be running from me anyway. I won't have to actively avoid them, I don't think. But there's a shiny in that tree. It's like strawberries. A flurry feather, okay. Brace off buzzberries? What? Brace of buzzberries. <laughs> okay. Again, I'm guessing they are uh, crafting stuff. Alright, is there something around here? Yep, there totally is. And another invisible ghost penguin. Butterfly wing. What are they signifying? What do they mean? I just don't know. What a view. Alright, climbing boots on. We have got quite the track. Oh wait, does it just... Oh no, no we do have to climb it, do we? Oh no we don't! Look! Magic! Okay. It's a long way down. I 
so yeah, we're heading into downtown Heliodor, which is the rougher t uh, side of town. But we, uh, we've got these hoods on, so we're going to be in disguise. We need to head to uh, Eric's old... Did he say it was his hideout or something? We need to get something anyway. Now this is totally a place where Yangus would hang out. But actually just live. Flat out live. Welcome to downtown Heliodor. Home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions. The Red Orb. Is that kind of like the red eye that we found? They got wise and pulled me in eventually. But not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. Ah. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. What's the betting that Dirk has already been back and taken it? After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. Where a criminal genius is, I tell you. Hmm, I'm sh I bet you it's not there. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. Alright, so we're not going to his hideout. We're going to a massive pile of shit. Let's chat to these people. Welcome to downtown Eliodor, the grimy little secret the posh folks over the wall don't want you to know about. Huh. You ain't from around here, are you? Well, if you ain't got a reason to stick around, I wouldn't bother. Oh, he properly talks like Yangus, that's awesome. What's that? You looking for the dump? Well, you're in the right port of town for rubbish. There's a great big pile of it right in the middle. I'll be going there right away, sir. Just let me chat to these fine folk. No money, no hope, no nothing. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this, this is the inn, is it? What a humble little tent. With its own bard. Hanging out here jamming is all well and good, but I can't help feeling I'd like to play in front of some slightly bigger crowds. Oh, like the band in, in front of the fountain. But that would mean hitting the nice part of town, and I don't have the money or the contacts to get past the checkpoint. If only there was a way of sneaking through. Hmm. If only. The Chimera Wing. Those beds look positively just so comfy. Look at them. You can practically feel the termites crawling up your rectum. Oh look, and the rats are just right outside. Awesome. Oh, carriages, that, that's bringing back memories. Eh? Trod in the Orse Princess. I've just fucking spoken to you. Why am I doing this again? I don't know. Smash. Four gold coins. That's probably like this dude's life savings. It still bugs me that you can't empty people's sacks. Oh well. Uh, oh, they've got a little church here. That's kind of nice. Keep your wits about you. The escape prisoner is still at large. If they go out of the castle, the dungeons, they ain't no part-timers. Probably armed and dangerous. I don't know what that accent was, I'm so sorry. Um, do me a fair share of choking in themselves. Best to hear some of my life. Alright, dude. Okay. That's good to know. Look in here. Nothing happening. Yeah, I'm totally calling it. That freaking jewel is not in there anymore. The numpties up at the castle locked up some luminary bloke who's supposed to be bringing disaster and destruction. And they went and let him escape. Having, <laughs> having I'm on the loose. Having him on the loose, sorry. Uh, I'll pay have it with the price of veg. Why? <laughs> I can barely scrape the catch together f together for a bunch of uh, mangy carrots as it is. Well, you don't want carrots. Carrots taste like shit. Ooh, weapon shop. Um... Bristling with blades, it's a dangerous world out there, so it pays to be prepared. 
Do you have anything decent, my man? That copper sword again. Ooh, and a bronze knife. I mean, attack-wise... Oh, we're definitely buying a copper sword. I'm, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We've got so much gold. And uh, we're gonna give it to... Mage. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Um, yeah, put away the... We'll put away a herb for now. We've got so many of them. There we go. And I can put the copper sword away. Uh, the soldier's sword. I could probably give it back to... That too. But anyway, let's get a bronze knife. There we go. Right, is the armor shop next door? Where is the armor shop? The armor shop's gonna be close, isn't it? A dollop, a dollop of horse manure! Oh no! Oh no! That's not what I wanted. That's really not what I wanted. It's like the cow pats and Dragon Quest Eight. It's just no, no thanks. Well, this is the item shop. So where's the armor shop? That's the pub. Guess the armor shop's down there. May not be much to look at, Splutter, but it's quality that counts. Oh, you're sick. You've probably got, like, every single disease known to man. Holy water. We'll get... We'll get some of them. Well, actually, just the one. It scares off weaker monsters. All right, well, we're probably not going to need that for a while. I'll just put it in the item bag. And we got plenty of everything else. Okay. This place is legendary. It's filthy. Got no roof and the food's bleeding awful. But the drinks are cheap and the dancers... Yeah, they're out of this world, mate. They're fucking beautiful. Uh, I'll bet you're here for an eye full of Roxy and all, aren't you? Well then, your luck's about as good as mine, mate. Roxy ain't here. She's on the other side of the wall, strutting her stuff for them posh lot up there. I've been waiting for her to get back for days, mate. Oh, I can't wait to see her again. Come on, rocks, me balls are so, so blue. Um, wow, my accent's just getting worse. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah. That's true. Is that like a bottle of Jack Daniels? That looks like a bottle of Jack Daniels on the table. That is some. That's. Uh, I, could, I could do with a drink, you know. I really could. Um, we don't serve kids in here. Sling it, you hook. Sling your hook. Oh. Mm. Well, that's that's a that's a damn good deal. Yeah, I'll work as much as I want without pay. Great. No thanks. Let's chat to this little shite here. Where's he hiding? Can't find camo anywhere. He's the undisputed hide and seek champion of Elidor. It's because he's camouflaged, I guess. I see what they did there. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Well, guys, um, I'm probably going to end the video here. Uh, I know I've done some editing in this one, but it's just to save the repetitiveness of the fights occasionally. Fighting the same stuff over and over isn't really needed to be shown, I guess. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Next time, we'll go see if this jewel is, in fact, still where Eric thinks it is. I'm willing to bet it isn't. In fact, I'm willing to bet all the gold in my inventory that it isn't. So, uh, look forward to that. Hope you, hope you uh, join me next time, and I will see you then.